Welcome to this beautiful Thursday edition of spotting up here at Cleveland Hopkins International Airport. 2801 from Atlanta, 737900. get a couple hours up here today so I hope you all had a great week and enjoying these uh, beautiful days up here in September but it's middle of September which to me is the best time of the year in Northeast Ohio September is gorgeous got one coming in for our executive jet lovers okay, I'm trying to kill that I think it's an Embraer E-135, I believe is what it is. Forty-eight sixty-two on its way to Baltimore, Washington International, BWI. Exciting day here in Cleveland, and unfortunately I have to miss it. We have the U.S. Women's National Team playing Paraguay at Kirk Kennedy Stadium, Cleveland Brown Stadium. parked over by Atlanta or Atlantic either so maybe they flew into Burke my guess is probably a United 737 that's why I didn't notice it American Airlines 1260 heading to the headquarters it's Dallas Fort Worth DFW American has flown I think three or four special liveries in just in the last two days, but right in the middle of my day at work, and I haven't been able to get up here. I know Reno, American West, and One World were all here yesterday. That's life sometimes, though. We'll get the 738 and pretty good light today. of that United 767 even some up close and some video on Saturday for the Cleveland Browns charter and I went to upload it to YouTube and it got about three quarters of the way there and then there was an error and then it deleted itself so I'm trying to see if I can find it to re-upload it um, but I'm really sorry we'll definitely get the NFL charter this weekend though I think there's a uh, I want to say the United Triple Seven is bringing in the team that's coming in this weekend, but I could be wrong. Got a Falcon. They're going to the Holiday Inn, but not the Holiday Inn Express. I guess they won't wake up a genius tomorrow. <laughs> Holiday Inn Express commercials were. I know I'm not an expert, but I stayed at the Holiday Inn Express last night. Stayed many times, and unfortunately, I was not able to figure out physics or anything the next day. Not really accelerating. Just the uh, the angle, but it sounded like he throttled up and then throttled back down. But he got airborne. Now shut up. Now we'll watch the plane. Hey, it's a special livery. 
United Eco Skies. Check that out. Get him taking off here in a minute. United 2659 from Chicago O'Hare International. He's inbound from Tampa Bay, Florida, TPA. I believe this is Clover the Deer Fawn. Two things that I find in my yard frequently, Clover and Deer. <laughs> Gorgeous afternoon. Seventeen oh four heading to Ord, Chicago's O'Hare, O R D. Our eco friendly eco skies livery. I believe the story behind this, I think it was Boeing, actually borrowed this airplane from United and ran kind of like an ethanol blend fuel through it. If I remember right, it had something to do with the different type of fuel that they ran through it to be more environmentally friendly. Seven seven two five heading to Toronto, Air Canada Jazz. Believe it or not, they sent a different aircraft today. Usually it's the same airplane, but they sent a different tail number today. I do like that ice blue though. It's pretty or pretty uh pretty paint scheme. Seven zero five heading up to the Twin Cities, Minneapolis, St. Paul, Minnesota.
2.44. He's inbound from the Motor City, Detroit. That's DTW. Delta Tango Whiskey. Not to be confused with DFW. Which take you all the way down to Dallas. DFW. Blow his horn, really? All right, we got something pretty cool inbound. It is a uh, De Havilland DH6 Twin Otter. And that is flown by our friends at NASA. Yes, that NASA. National Aeronautics and Space Administration. Operating out of their facility here in Cleveland, the Glenn Research Center. Flying around, doing some aerial surveying and research over the Cleveland area all day. So it's always a treat to see the NASA flights. If you've been following along with the video, we've seen the TVM, uh, we've seen the uh, S3, and now we've seen the Dehavilla. We try to get all the cool stuff up here while we're spotting up here in Cleveland. I want to thank you to each and every one of you who support the channel, uh, all the views and all the new subscribers. About 20 new subscribers this week, so really thankful and really appreciative of your support. And love all the comments and interacting with everybody. Just really appreciate your support. It means a lot. If you're ever in Cleveland, unfortunately, the NASA Glenn Research Center is not open to the public, except for you know very rarely they'll have um, events there. I think they have one of the world's largest vacuum chambers there, and they do a lot of uh, propulsion research. So the chevrons that you see on the back of the Max and the uh, 747-800 and the 787 Dreamliner, those actually were developed here to help make engines quieter. I uh, did a lot of research on the SLS Orion, uh, the Space Shuttle, uh, Mercury and Gemini. A lot of the propulsion stuff came through here. Uh, unfortunately, the, the base isn't open for uh, public visits anymore, but they do have a visitor center over the Great Lake Science Center. That is pretty neat to check out. Two NASA facilities here in Ohio, the Glenn Research Center here in Cleveland, and then there's the, uh, the Armstrong Lung Group Center in Sandusky as well. A lot of neat stuff going on with NASA around here. The never-ending Russian roulette that is United 370 to Houston. Today drew a Boeing 737-700. Following the channel, you know that just about every day this is a different aircraft.
Southwest 3442 from St. Louis STL. Home of the St. Louis Cardinals. How about that? They find themselves back in the playoff contention. into my eyes um, so I decided to move back into the shadow of the tree a little bit it is warm today at mid 80s I like the 60s that we had the other day Build up behind my sunglasses, my eyes are burning, so I'm gonna go stand in the shade, let my eyes dry up a little bit. Thirty-seven oh five from New York's JFK, John F. Kennedy International. Big Apple. I know I said this in the other video that unfortunately YouTube didn't upload. Um, so I'll say it now. Um, you know, thoughts and prayers to the families and all those who were lost on September 11th. Uh, 20 years ago. Hard to believe that's 20 years. I remember sitting in little school gym just hearing rumors about a plane hitting the pentagon and wondering what in the world does that even mean and then going to math and seeing the awful devastation at the world trade center and hearing about united flight 93 which actually turned around in cleveland airspace not too far from here and flew not too far away from where i live and you know crashed in shanksville pennsylvania which is a really small town about 80 miles or so southeast of pittsburgh and Really, that was the one that got my attention because I have a, a great aunt who lives in Shanksville. We would go out there every year to go to family reunions. And, um, you know, I remember, you know, I mean, it's just a small town and she was you know, elderly. And we would go out there about every year and meet at a church and have a family reunion. And, uh, passing the windmills and everything along the way. And So when I heard Shanksville and knowing how small of a town that was, that the one that really got my attention but you know thoughts and prayers to you know all those who were lost the innocent civilians working in the in the trade center um, the innocent people caught up on the airliners and uh, of course our our first responders our heroes who rush into those buildings and so many of them didn't come home that day after the buildings came down and, and the airline crews at United and American you know who were just doing their jobs and got caught up in history so thoughts and prayers to those people uh, it's hard to lose it's been 20 years um, I wanted to do it when the 767 came in because uh, United 76 was one of the airline types that were involved and unfortunately the video didn't upload correctly so I just wanted to take a moment here and, and share my thoughts and prayers with those people and it's hard to believe it's been 20 years so let's take a moment of silence for those who were lost on September 11 2001 I guess the uh, controller so didn't get my here, memo. Well, that's okay. 5681 from Boston's Logan International. I know on that day we had a Delta flight that controllers thought might have been hijacked and fighters were scrambled to intercept it that just had a routine transponder fail and it diverted and landed here in Cleveland and really spooked out. I think it was like Delta 29, I believe was the flight number. But controllers were tracking that. Um, unbeknownst to them, flight 93. It was the Cleveland controller in that control tower over there who 
heard the hijacking, hijacking call from United 93. So Cleveland is unfortunately a, a part of that history too. Going through my flight radar really quick and I can't find this flight. I'm not really sure where he's going. It said 5681 on the scanner, but that is a... If it is, he's going to Minneapolis. By the way, that Delta was 1015. He's heading to JFK. New York City. This is Allegiant 1045 from Savannah, Georgia. to do it for today spotting Cleveland Hopkins International Airport up here in Cleveland Ohio on this beautiful Thursday in the middle of September really hope you enjoyed the video thank you to all of you who subscribed thank you to all of you who liked the videos who commented on the different videos down below again I really appreciate your support um, if you like what you see just please please hit that subscribe button share it with your friends um, and let's uh, keep going we got some cool stuff coming I'm gonna try to do a couple uh, different things especially with winter coming to try to you know, get a little bit different type of content we'll still be up here to spot as much as possible of course but just afraid that once I get off work it'll be getting dark uh, here in about a month or so so we'll try to continue to come up and spot as much as possible we'll definitely be up here this weekend to catch the uh, NFL charter and uh, we're gonna continue to try to get the best spotting content possible up here in Cleveland and a couple other airports that I have in mind that I want to check out um, over the next few weeks so uh, really appreciate your support and uh, we'll catch you next time on another edition of spotting cleveland hopkins y'all have a great evening